Hello beautiful people, my name is Grandy. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're well. It's the weekend besties. But guess what, you wouldn't be able to tell because you know what time it is? It's like 7.30 a.m. It's early. I woke up, guys. Let me put a prop it all over here. Right, my camera has been through so much. I pray that it does not fall because, see, I think you're good. But yeah guys, I woke up so early today. Guys, it's Saturday and I was literally up before 7 a.m. Like, kind of questions my soul. But also like, I chose this life. So it's like, who do I have to blame but myself, you know? And don't ask me why I'm eating frigging a muffin at this time in the morning. But there's no food in my house. Like, there's literally no food. So yeah guys, we're up super early today because we are rising and we are grinding. I want to have a really nice beat today, even though I do not have that long. <laughs> the watchers, the girlies who be watching me, Y'all know that I don't give myself a long time to beat my face or to be ready in general. So today I'll say we have around, I'll give myself 30, 30 minutes, 30, 35. Oh my gosh, this is supposed to be a flawless poreless primer with SPF 50. It's Charlotte Tilbury. Today I'm actually trying to like do my makeup properly like prime and the other day I did um, like, what is it called, like wax brows. Just like when you do like salt brows. Oh, and I love guys, I think this is giving me a white cast. I'm mad. I'm fuming. I've got a white cast. No, this is not cute. This is not cute. Why is my skin gray? Why is my skin gray? Why is my skin gray? Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared. They just keep rubbing. <laughs> Okay. She's getting gray, but I feel like by the time I've layered everything that I need to lay out, it will be gone. So we'll just move on from that. But today guys, why I'm up so early, I should really explain. Like I said, I'm rising and I'm grinding, okay? I'm working with a gorgeous brand, Astrid Emile, over on Instagram. So it's not like a YouTube spawn, but it's an Instagram collaboration. You guys don't know like what I do. I actually have a nine to five job. So in the week, I'm a social media exec for a fashion brand. And then after work and on the weekend, I'm also my own brand. So I also have Grandy Cat, which is my Instagram page where I share fashion and beauty. And I'm really grateful that I get to work with like amazing fashion, beauty, and jewelry brands like Astrid and Neil. So for their content, they actually want me to go into their store and um, show their in-store experience because they have these like really beautiful like bracelets, which have you guys heard of it? It's like permanent jewelry where like you get a bracelet and you like weld it on so you actually can't take it off. That's what I'm getting today. And I'm really excited because I don't know if you know, but guys, I love a bracelet. Like, as you can see, I'm always wearing bracelets. I just think they add a bit of a with a vibe to your outfits. So I'm literally not even scared about having it permanently on because I always have my bracelets permanently on, like I don't take them off anyway. But yeah, so I'm going into London today. Um, I'm getting a nice and early train because I don't want to be rushing around today. Like I want to be neat, I want to be clean, I want to be a classy girl. That's me, babe. So yeah, I'm going to get a 9.30 train from my station. That means I have to leave my house in an hour and is that 15 minutes. Roughly an hour and 10 minutes. That's actually kind of scaring me because that's actually not like a crazy amount of time. But I've already planned my outfit. I try to be like an efficient buddy, you know? So last night I had my outfit planned and guys, I love my outfit today. Oh my God, it looks so it looks so scary. So yeah, I love my outfit. So I'm really happy about that. And I actually took a bit of time to um, pick out my outfit. I was like, what vibe do I want to give? Like, you know, I'm obviously working with this brand, you know. I want to like come into the store and then I want them to be like, oh my God, who's this baddie, you know? And then I'll be like, yeah, I'm working with a brand, you know? Like, that's the vibe I want. I want to just like be walking around London looking like a baddie. Like, that's my vibe for today. Guys, and I think I tried to especially do this because you know what they say, like, it's Instagram is a real life like sometimes I take that too far sometimes like I'll be planning the most like fire looks for Instagram and then when it comes to me actually like going out and stuff guys this isn't blending what's going on it's not blending this is what, guys, this is why you shouldn't be trying new stuff when you don't have freaking time. Like, what is this? Okay, that looks better, I think. Um, what was I saying? Oh my God. Oh yeah, so sometimes I feel like I take it too far in the sense of like, when I'm planning outfits for Instagram, like, oh, she's giving bad, she's giving cool girl, she's giving everything. But then when it comes time for me to go out, I'm like, I'm in a rush. 
I'll just throw on anything and then I feel like I just never end up having as much fun with my outfits and stuff in real life because like I'm always in a rush I don't get to actually like live the life that I'm living on Instagram like wearing cool ass outfits and stuff like that I feel like when it comes to real life I'm just I just pick the easiest most basicest option but I feel like going into 2023 I want to like just take more time with things I want to be a bit less like oh my god I'm in a rush oh my god uh, which is just my aesthetic and I don't want that aesthetic for myself anymore I want to just be slower I want to be more of a soft girl is, is that a thing a soft girl I want to be more like put together more you know just take my time with life I get to enjoy stuff more like that's that's just the kind of vibe that I want you know I don't want it just to be on Instagram that I look cool or wear cool outfits. I want it to be my real life. I say that to say, yesterday I took the time, I planned my outfit. Guys, I freaking love my outfit. When I put on my outfit, I'll show you guys what inspired me because I was kind of stuck. I was like, what vibe do I go for, you know? And then I was like, oh, let me go on Pinterest, get some inspo. And then I saw this amazing inspo outfit. And it's actually a blogger that I know, Nori. It's so funny, I don't think I've met this baby in real life, but I feel like she knows me and I know her just from the internet. Internet, like we follow each other and stuff to be fair i'd love to meet her one day i'm sure i will meet her of course i will but yeah when i put on my outfit i'll show you the inspo behind it i did a lot of like base work today on my face because i'm just trying to go the extra mile but yeah guys i'm going into london i'm going into the astrid Mew store i'm gonna be like taking content in the store and then i'm actually meeting up with my baby girl Oyin. she lives in london i'm only gonna be there for a couple of hours but i was like i have to see my sis i haven't seen her in ages because recently she got Got some amazing news so i was like i have to see her i have to congratulate her you know probably buy her some flowers and just be like sis i love you and yeah show some love to my girl you know because why is it so hard to make plans as an adult like adult friendships are actually not easy like me and me and one of my friends i plan to take her out for her birthday right her birthday was in January. So I planned to take her out. I think it was like early Feb. But then, bless her heart, she got injured. She be going hard in the gym though. Like, so she actually got like a gym injury. Bless her heart. She literally had to go to hospital. So the night out that I planned to take her out on her birthday, she couldn't come. And then she was like, okay. After she came back from hospital, she was like, okay, let's rearrange for this date. And then I was like, okay, that date works for me. But then I actually checked the date. And guys, I'm flying out the, the next morning. So if I was to go out, like she wanted to go out on the Friday. And and then my flight is at like 4 a.m. super early on sex, 7 a.m. on Saturday. So I was like, it's not gonna work, sis. And then she was like, oh my gosh. And then I was like, okay, what about these two weekends? I gave her like two more dates. And then she was like, girl, I'm away in that whole two weekends. I'm also going on holiday. And I was like, why is it so difficult to be planned as an adult? Like, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy when you're booked and busy queens. Like, do you know what I mean? But then I was like, do you know what? It's a blessing from God that we're booked and busy, you know? Like, it's a blessing. You just have to... Guys, I actually try in this life to just see everything on the flip side, you know? I'm like, but you know what? It's a blessing that we're booked and we have things to do, you know? That we're able to catch flights. Guys, while we're chit-chatting, I might as well tell you. I'm currently having drama, 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 right? It's not honest drama, but yeah, it's drama. I'm having drama with trying to find a makeup artist for my wedding. And guys, I'm getting married in... Did you say within like six months just under six months now but it's not easy finding a makeup artist like it's not bloody easy like the girlies are not cheap they're not cheap and also i had like a favorite anyway that i desperately wanted who i've used before but she was booked up and then i inquired with some other like amazing anyways and they all live in london and london is like i'm going there today obviously but i live in like the next city i live in birmingham so i live like hour and a half two hours on the train from london right and all of the like fire fire anyways they live in london you know they don't live in freaking birmingham so when i inquired with all these amazing anyways they gave me their price which is like it's pricey but it's like it's worth it you know like it's my wedding but then like the anyways they also want me to cover like their travel and their hotel for doing my makeup right and that is the point when i like begin to like struggle because i love their work i think they're literally incredible but when they give me their price it's like okay that's doable you know i don't mind paying that price but then when the travel is added on top and then when the hotel is added on top it now just takes it over budget just to roughly give you a, a ballpark of what the figure is one of the muas is like 400 pounds to beat my face and another one is like 350 to beat my face and i was like 
it's a lot of money but what can we do we have to pay it because i love their work but then when they add travel and everything guys it comes to around 600 pounds like just under 600 pounds and then i'm like i just don't think i can pay that like i just don't think i can pay 600 great british pounds for like a beat you know a beat that's gonna wash away and like i get it you know it's my wedding i'm gonna have the pictures forever you know for 600 pounds i'm so sorry but it's just out of my budget like okay guys i feel like this angle is actually better right it's better it's definitely better yeah guys i just i just don't think in my spirit and in my soul i can justify that price so i've been trying to find and when i say trying i've literally been at hours scrolling line on friggin the internet on instagram trying to find muas in my city that slap and that are just as good as the london ones and i can't lie it's a bit difficult like i just feel like the london girlies are kind of where it's at so i did find one i found one girl who i was like okay i like her work i mean i can't lie i wasn't obsessed with it you know i wasn't like oh my gosh like like wow wow i wasn't like that i was like okay this is really cute and i don't know if that's the type of energy i want for my bridal MUA, you know, I want to be like, wow, oh my god, I'm so excited. But all that, and her price is a lot more reasonable. Her price is like 200 pounds, and then I wouldn't have to pay her travel or anything, so hers would just be 200 pounds full stop. So, yeah, my only di dilemma is do I want to like pay less? like 200 pounds but then not be obsessed with the beat or do i just want to do it myself i know i know i know it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy to want to do your own bridal week i know it's not a normal thing like everyone that i tell like guys i might just do it my damn self they're like oh grandy i don't know like i don't know if you want to do that yourself and it's your wedding like you don't want the stress you don't want the drama of doing it yourself but it's like i don't know if i want to pay like 200 pounds just to not even be obsessed with the B. Like, do you guys get me? Like, I'm gonna pay. I'd rather pay and then be like, whoa. Do you, do you get it? I don't want the middle ground. I want either I pay a lot and I feel like, yeah, I paid a lot and it's worth it. Or pay nothing and I do my own B. And I know I love my B. I personally think when I take time to do my makeup, I'm that girl. Did you no one can say anything to me when I like take my time? Today, I don't think it's gonna be the best because I'm starting to rush now. Because we're running out of time. Time, of course but like for example as a case study this lighting is so bad i'm so sorry guys um yeah the chris brown beat that i did <gasps> guys that beat was crazy i felt like that girl because i took my time you know i literally gave myself like two hours to do my makeup that day and i wasn't rushing and i just felt stunning so i feel like if i do like take my time then i look great you know but then obviously doing your own makeup is just kind of you never know which way it's gonna go and obviously on your wedding you don't want to take the chance so that's my dilemma guys what do you guys think i should do to be fair my next plan of action i think is i'm gonna do a tester with the 200 pound MUA with the one that lives in my city i'm gonna test her out i'm just gonna book a normal glam with her and not do like a bridal glam because <laughs> these these gorgeous girls just be charging you anyhow as soon as they hear the word bride they'll just they, they don't even hear the word bride they just hear the buh they just hear the brr <laughs> They just came bro, and then they go, oh, times that cost by 10. I'm like, okay, honey, I get it. You gotta get to your bag, but but the price is pricing, honey. So that is my dilemma. These are the things that you have to think about when you're getting married, guys. I didn't even think that this was gonna be a dilemma. I was just like, it's gonna be easy. I'll book my favorite MUA. She'll come to me. I will get it done. But I didn't even consider about all the hotels and the travel. But yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day regardless. By the grace of God, I'm gonna look stunning regardless. <laughs> yeah, that's the tea. Okay, I need to like, finish this glam so let's speed it up a little bit just a little bit just a little bit okay we're gonna set and i'll show you guys the finished look period oh god <laughs> and she is ready guys Oof. I'm looking very chocolatey, very warm. Like, she just looks really gorgeous today. I can't even lie, my forehead is shining. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. What do we think? Oof, oof, oh! 
Okay guys, so I'm now gonna do my hair, get dressed, and then we're gonna run out that door, honey. Let's go. Hey guys, so I'm quickly like dashing through my train station and, oh, wrong way. And I think I just met like a subscriber, follower, cause I walked past this girl and then she was like, oh my gosh, it's Grandy. And I was like, hi. I said hi to her, but cause she just said, oh my gosh, it's Grandy. I was like, I don't know if it's like, you watch my content, but to be fair, I know I don't know her. So I just said hi, introduced myself. And I was like, I'm ready for my train. But yeah, it's always really nice meeting people, like subscribers and stuff. It's always the best feeling. And I made my train. I love this for me. <laughs> Hey besties, so I just got the train. I'm now in Ireland and baby. So I'm now headed to the Ashton and Mill store. I'm actually going to be early for my appointment, so I'm hoping that they still see me. But yeah, I'm heading into the Carnaby Street store. It's in central London. So we're going to go. We're going to get some welded permanent bracelets. Should be cute. I'm excited. Let's go. The beat is. Oh, she looking good today, honey. She looking really good. There's actually such a difference when you spend time to do your makeup and when you brush it, like. The difference is just, it's nothing alike. It's completely, I'm giving a oh, totally different vibe today. This is definitely not a 10 minute B. She's giving 30 minutes plus, most definitely. <laughs> in the progress money's not a odd you know how my job get barking up the wrong tree you know how the dogs get haven't fallen off yet come with a classic they come around years later and say it's a sleeper the ears are real the petty is real my truck right for a feature deposit the money to friend of the hey guys so i'm now just walking to the shop thank god it's not raining because the weather forecast so they're just going to be basically running all damn day but luckily I'm not getting rain done, so I love that. Because I was not about to carry an umbrella. That was not the vibe that I was going for. But yeah, the shop is just a few minute walk away. And I'm gonna quickly look at the brief of the content that I have to shoot so that I make sure I actually shoot the right thing. Because guys, imagine I came all the way to London to shoot for this brand and it was like the wrong thing. And then they were like, um, yeah, can you shoot? And I'd be like, um, no. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna quickly read, make sure I know when I get to the shop, the angles that they want, the aesthetics that they want, I'm gonna give them everything they want. But yeah, I just love the feeling of being in London. Like, the city is just that girl. Ooh, do I hop into weekday now or later? I might go in later. I love this store weekday. I love the bits that they have in there. So yeah, we don't actually have weekday in my city. So when I come, I always try and pop in last time i came i actually got some amazing glasses which i wear like every single day do you know those like black big like, visor kind of glasses that i have i'm just gonna put them on the screen i literally wear those with like so many of my outfits and i got those last time i was here so i'm definitely gonna pop in there when i'm done in the store i think i turn here actually so yeah i'll see you guys when i get to the ashton and meals hopefully they see me because i'm definitely early Soldier boy, I tell you. Hey, I got the new damn for y'all called Soldier boy. You just gotta punch, then crank back three times from left to right. Soldier boy, I've been in. Guys, so I just got to the National Media Store. It's so pretty in here. This is the vibe. Now I mean you. Crank that soldier. Now I mean you. Crank that soldier. Now I mean you. Crank that soldier. Now what? Soldier boy, I've been in. Oh, I mean crank it. Why me roll? Hey guys, so I'm done in the store. They weren't actually able to see me. They are literally jam-packed back to back to back to back. The 
So I'm gonna do instead is shop around a little bit, go and see my girl Oya now, get some friends with her, then come back later for the welding experience. I shot the content that I needed to shoot in the store and I think it's cute, you know. But yeah, I'm just gonna walk around, see what the vibe is in Carnival Street. This city guys is so different to mine, like it's only an hour and a half train. But by when I'm in London, it's just a completely different vibe. When I'm here, I literally feel alive. Like there's so many people, there's so many different vibes. People just have so many different aesthetics. Like the fashion bullies are around in London. So I'm always even getting inspired by people's outfits. But yeah, right now we're just gonna take a little stroll around some stores and then I'm gonna go see my girl. I have a brandy Malville here and we don't have one in my city either. But to be fair, I don't think brandy is my aesthetic. So let's just keep it moving. <laughs> If you guys just saw that florist that I walked past, they just called me broke. No, they literally just called me broke. <laughs> like she didn't call me broke, but she called me broke. Because I was like, oh my god, yes, I want to pick up some flowers for my friend. Say congratulations, right? But the store that the florist was coming out of, um, it's like a trademark luxury store. I just saw the really pretty florist stands and I was like, oh, like, I'll, I'll get a bouquet from here. They look so cute. <clears throat> I just said to the woman, yeah, can I just get a bouquet? And she's like, yeah, sure, like, what's your budget? And I was like, um, like, what's the range that you have here? Thank God, thank God I did not open my mouth to say what my budget was because she would have screamed, okay? So she said, okay, so the type of bouquet is that bouquet over there. It's like 250 pounds, you know, 100 pounds. And I was like, hmm, okay. And she's like, yeah, um, the average one we have is like 150. It really ranges from what you want. If you want a few stems, of course, we can do a lot more affordable. Guys, I would have been able to afford one stick of a flower. <laughs> 150 pounds. 150 pounds 150.00 for flowers guys i need to get my money up i need to get my money up because i just looked at her and it's just like and then i was like so it's just i didn't know what to say i didn't know what to say so i was like I, yeah i just think it's a little bit out of budget like I, because what else could i say i was gonna make an excuse but i was like let me be honest it's just out of budget for me they're just out of budget the budget that i'd put on these flowers it's out of it. I think the most I would have spent is £35. <laughs> but their flowers were starting from £85. So there's a big gap as you can see. But yeah guys, that, that, that just made me laugh. So yeah, let me look for a supermarket that does flowers because girl. So I got these. So pretty. So guys, I just hopped onto the train and just got off at my first station. I got us the flowers. More affordable ones. 
But yeah, I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in months and months and months. And yeah, I hope she likes the flowers. Hey sis, how are you? I know, never snap bits into a wedding. No snap. These are for you. I get what I want, like, get what I want. Now let's keep it a beam. Wanna be mad, I'll be on the scene. Ask too if I can't fit in a jean. Use my stitch, but it's not on the scene. I got that ready, I'm keeping it clean. When when niggas that's told in a beam. Saying you love me, but what do you mean? So I'm gonna get my bracelet. Just gotta get excited. These are the selection. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do the cute. actually been a few hours I've just been chilling but right now I'm actually getting back to work um, I want to edit my vlog to go up tomorrow for my Sunday weekly vlog I've really been appreciating the people who've been commenting like yes sis we love the consistency and I'm like ah, it makes me so happy when I see those comments because guys I genuinely try hard to be consistent like I think I'm in my consistency era and I'm loving it I think especially because currently Sunday is the day that I've been uploading I'm loving the fact that if Saturday comes and I don't have a video, I'm like, crap! Something needs to be edited to go up tomorrow. Like, something has to get done. If midweek comes around and I don't have a video, I'm like, wait, what, what the heck am I posting on Sunday? Do you know? It's something that I'm really, really working on. So I'm really appreciating the comments from you guys. Shout out to my girls in the comment section. Ah. No, you guys are really the best. Like, when I see the comments, I'm like, <laughs> it warms my whole heart because, guys, I'm trying. I'm really trying. Thank you so much guys for the love and support. So yeah, I'm gonna edit that video. Ready to go up tomorrow for the consistency. But I think I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea just to be all cozy and cute and to romanticize my life. Like I wanna edit, but I wanna do it in a romantic way. Do you know what I mean? I wanna have like a cup of tea while I edit. I wanna hopefully be nibbling on like some muffin while I edit, you know? So I'm enjoying myself but also working. You know what I mean? That's the vibe that I want. So yeah, let me go and get a cup of tea and hopefully a sweet treat. 